Okay, now here's a roof that is a uh, like a patio roof. They put a dimensional composition shingle on a, a near flat surface. We see this a lot. This is uh, improper installation. This should have a, a more of a flat application roof on it. Uh, rolled roofing, that sort of thing, or tar and gravel. And what the problem is, the water can back dribble on the shingle courses and, and just cause dry rot and havoc uh, to the underlayment in the uh, subroof. Looks like they tried to roll it up and under the, the shingles on the pitched roof. And it appears that if you look right here in the valley going up, there's been an attempted uh, repair to they put mastic in the valley to try to stop the leakage in the valley. So the problem's not the valley. The problem is almost always the uh, the corner down here where the valley spills off onto the flat roof and uh, they, they kept trying to seal it across here so this has to all be torn off replaced with a, uh, a rolled roofing either a torch down a peel and seam or a, a tar and gravel type roof um, we don't warrant these these flat areas on a, on a, the homes that we look at i don't think anyone that i know of uh, does no roofer does uh, certify flat roof surfaces okay this is the underside of the same um, the same roof that we were just looking at you can see dribble marks here dribble marks on the beams on, on all the on the rafters here uh, they used OSB which is a, a type of sheathing that is better used uh, in areas where it's not exposed and you can see the drip marks in the dark the dark colors uh, indicating that we've got leakage here and it's just destroying the felt paper I mean the uh, the subroof sheathing. So this is what happens when you put a shingle roof on a uh, near flat surface.